Hey everybody, welcome back to the goat screw that is my garage, <laughs> the 69 Beetle, and I am your host, OK Fixer. Uh, what I'm trying to do now is get this thing uh, to the car show on Saturday, and today is Wednesday. So I've got a few things to do. Um, I've got to sort out the throttle. The throttle cable is kind of sketchy and I think what's happening is rubbing on the the tube is is it's not going into the Bowden cable and it's rubbing on the hmm, front rubber uh, I'll show you up underneath it so I got to do that um, battery box or some kind of protector um, we have to kind of do a few little adjustments on the carb. Um, I need to turn that water bottle upside down. Brian told me it was right side, upside. Yeah, it's wrong. Um, so hopefully, I don't care about the seats. I've got some material coming also. Uh, the company said that they're going to send me my material for my seats. There's a lot going on. I just want to get this to the car show. Don't care what it looks like. I just want to get it there. Uh, but it, it's going to have to run properly. Okay, first thing, I want to show you this. I've taken this back out because I want to examine it. And that is the throttle tube. And I want to show you something. There's There's a grommet right here that goes in your in your fan fan shroud. Remember, we're trying to keep every uh, little bit of precious cooling air that we can. There is a grommet there, and it was it was broken, and it turned to stone. And so I went into my grommet assortment, and lo and behold, from hazard fraud, uh, there are scads of them. So this, this fits absolutely perfect from, from Harbor Freight and there's no reason why it shouldn't. It's, it's very metric, even though it shows the size. Well, this says millimeters also, but that works perfect. On the other side, on the other side of the fan shroud, there's a little rubber piece that goes up in there too. But what I have done is I had run some urethane around that, much to my brother's chagrin, uh, because I didn't have that piece. Uh, again, to keep every bit of cooling air in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that tube in there, uh, and I'm going to put this thing up on stands, get up underneath, and see why the throttle cable is... It's kind of funny. It just feels funny. So I need to kind of track things down and see what's going on with that. All right, before I back this up onto some car ramps, I decided I would secure my uh, battery uh, in, in, that, uh, in that little deal uh, in, the, in the box there. I had to cut the box down a little bit, uh, but it's secured in that box. It's not flopping around. It's quite jammed up in there, and if you put the seat on it, I doubt even if you rolled this thing that it would move. So there you go. Uh, I've got a plastic cover over the top of it and uh, shouldn't cause us any issues. I'm going to put our seat, belt, uh, seat bottom back in it and um, pull our seat belts out also. There we go. Um, the center seat belts, they have to, the bracket, I had them on the side, but they don't go like that. They go up. So it's kind of like there's a bolt and then the bracket goes up like that and then the seat belt comes out. Uh, so the seat can fit up underneath there. It's the only way I could get it in there. But there you go. Ooh, seat belts too. Can you imagine? Wow, how cool is that? All right, back to the throttle tube. I have that uh, grommet in there and the throttle tube's going through. I got it up on jack stands and I looked uh, up underneath it and it's not getting hung up anywhere. So I think maybe the problem is in my pedal assembly. I don't know. Uh, so we'll, we'll look at that. Uh, Brian sent me this little grommet. And this little grommet, I've peeled the urethane off the back there. And this little grommet goes up underneath the uh, tube. And it uh, fits in the fan shroud just like that. 
and and the tube rests on this right here you'll if you put your fingers up underneath there you'll see it and this will block that hole off saving every precious uh, bit of cooling air let's get that in there all right here's the throttle tube if you're looking at the back of the shroud and there's the, there's the fan and this is just bigger here's the throttle tube and and the cable comes through here this goes on top is what it does and it's uh, it's got a little lip and it's not too hard to get in there really it's it I thought it was going to be a real bear but it's not it's really simple it goes on it goes on the top and it goes on the top of that and you can see where that dime size hole right there you'd lose quite a bit of cooling air out of there so that's kind of a neat little thing to have I pulled all the urethane I had off of there and I put that in there thank you Brian I appreciate that well, I don't know, BR. I think it's in there right. Yeah. It's the only way she'll go. Let me gather this hose up here. It's, uh, the, uh, the, the Gizmodius at the end of this uh, line here is, uh, is at the bottom. So I, th I believe I'm correct. I believe that's right. So I'm going to call that good. All right. God, remember when? Jeez, remember when? You ever think about stuff that you did and you're like, wow, did I do all that? Yes, yes you did. And I remember taking that gas tank out the first thing I did. Oh God, what a mess. Unbelievable. Dan, you're a true glutton for punishment. Hell now. Morning, everybody. This ought to be fun. Oh, I meant to clean that window. It's all greasy on that side. Uh, we're in the 69, 69, dude. 69 Beetle. And, um... I took it out for a little stroll around the block yesterday. So this is its first real long endurance drive. And uh, headed to a car show at the state fairgrounds. Hope everybody can see. I wish I would have cleaned that. Maybe I could find somebody with some Windex. Brakes are a little scratchy still. A little rusty. I never turned the drums. They'll break in. She's a little cold right now. It's in the 30s. High 30s. Now, my speedometer, I went out, drove it yesterday in my speedometer. I <laughs> 10, 20, 30, and then it started going, Ree! just squealing at me real bad. So uh, I disconnected it. Uh, so that'll have to come out and get fixed. I think just greased, probably. We'll take it apart and look at it and see if we can't fix it. I'm pretty sure we can. Uh, I took the beetle, or I took the uh, froze up speedometer that uh, after dimwit had stored in a bucket of water on the 67. Beautiful. Sure runs nice. in a bucket of water and I took it apart and uh, looped it all up and it worked fine. It doesn't make any noise or nothing. I haven't done an alignment on this. <clears throat> um, the wheel is a little crooked but I, I, I had the wheel off so I had like I said I haven't done an alignment uh, or a balance or uh, 
find out if any of the rims are bent. I don't know. So, yeah. We're just, we're just flying by the seat of our pants right now. And everything seems to be weren't running great. Entertain you with a little radio. Immune deficiencies. Those who are most at risk right now. When you donate plasma at Bile. It works! <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's great. Uh, the seat's a little wonky because it's all locked out and hasn't been rebuilt. The steering's nice and light though on this one. This is nice. I'm really enjoying this. It's not really bouncy up front like the other one either. Stiff, that is. really feel those you can you can hear that brake uh, all that corrosion and rust on the brake drums it'll wear off though it's just a brake drum transmission's really nice very tight very snicky nice okay well uh, I'm gonna shut you off until we get to the uh, until we get to the fairgrounds well I don't know what I recorded in the last one but uh, there she is in front of uh, Roscoe P. Coltrane's car. Uh, got a 67 next to us. And uh, I think I see my buddy Bart over there. And uh, I told him I'd bring him a license plate. He's got the blown Ford. I don't know if that's a Ford or a Dodge truck. I told him I'd bring him a license plate. I got a bunch of license plates that I inherited, my father collected them, and I ain't got nothing to do with them, so I haven't got any cars that they fit. And just sitting there and looking at them, they ain't doing anybody any good, so I just kind of give them to people who, who want a Michigan one. bad you're on YouTube I'm, on YouTube. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put your your truck on YouTube okay That's freaking awesome. uh, what what's a cubic inch of that Chrysler originally a 390 no this was a 354 oh that's a 354 they make a bigger they make a 392 that uh, gentleman over there's got a 392 in his. Uh, 354 he has the radiator and fans under the yeah. And I, I like the idea of a big huffer in front of it with no radiator. That looks pretty cool, eh? Chime in if you know what that is.
Does anybody know what those are?
probably a thousand cars out here but I uh, you know a, a Ram truck and uh, you know a, a, a Subaru I'm just gonna show you the ones that I thought were pretty cool the shot of Bart Chevrolet Well, that looks to be about it. I'm going to cut this now and take off home. Like I said, there's lots of cars out here, but you know, a new Camaro uh, and, and a Cadillac next to something like that or that Buick, um, yeah just not going to take pictures of them, you know. Alright, thanks for uh, checking my channel out. And uh, I'm going to let you all go. <laughs> the last look at this old Bel Air. Beauty, eh? See you guys later.